Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the AWS SES. Today, first of all, we are going to check whether the email is verified or not. Because some sometimes we try to send the email to the register to not the registered customer, so it will say that the email is not verified. So first important is first we will check whether the email is verified. Okay, if it is not verified, then we will trigger the email to verify the email address. If it is verified, then we will try to send the email to their account, right? So these are the three steps that the SES follows. So first we will check whether the email address is verified or not in the Node.js, okay? So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. I'm going to split this video into three parts. First. First, we will check whether the email is verified or not. Second, we will going to send unverified email addresses email. Third, send email to the verified email addresses. So three parts, three videos. Okay, so this is a part one where we are going to check whether the email address is verified or not using the Node.js, AWS, SES, right? So let's get started. So here we have the code, so the AWS SDK, so you need to get SS key ID, secret and the region. If you're not familiar with this SS key ID, secret SS key, please watch my previous video. You will get to know about it. Okay. SES new SES API version, you can mention over here, check verification status. So here you need to pass the emails, right? So what e any emails like that, this one, that one, so this is an array you need to pass over here. Okay. So now this is get identity verification attribute params, error and the data. If it is error checking the verification status for the email and the LLV go over here, else verification state attributes, data verification attributes. Okay, so here we have the data, right? Data dot verification attributes. First we check verification attributes is there, email is there and what is the status is there. Okay, then we will console that email is verified else we will log that the email is not verified let's have a look on that one and we will call the email address over here and check verification status email address so first this email address here you can see that here you can see that i have list of the verified email addresses right so this is the first this is the technical rajni and magento developer email right so both are verified so which email i have sent over here that is technical which is verified right Let's try to check via Node.js. So clear this. Let's say add verified email address. So here you can see that this is verified. Add one more digit over here because this email is not there. Save this and then check. And say this email is not verified, right? So if it is not verified, what we have to do? We have to trigger the email to that unregistered unverified customer or user right so this we are going to learn in the next video thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day